Hello, this is a screen recording uh, took at Wikiversity and specifically how to set up a profile page in Wiki and, and put some information about yourself. Uh, so if you land on to wikiversity.org you'll be faced with the English, Spanish and the German versions as they stand at the moment and you can straight away search here in the, any of those languages and it will go into the um, language version with the search results. Uh, so or you can just click straight into and we'll click into English. So then we land on the English main page and again you can search that page to look for content in your subject area uh, but we're in here to set up a profile. Uh, I'd see that I've been remembered and logged in there so I'll just log out to show what it looks like. Okay now when you're back at the main page we'll start at when you're at the main page and you haven't logged in you'll just see up in the top right hand corner this sort of stuff log in or create account so if we click that one we land onto the login page now if you've already created an account obviously you just log in here if you haven't created an account then you click that link and you need to answer this sum here to prove that you're not a uh, robot automatically setting up accounts the, those sort of things are done to uh, flood these sorts of services with spam advertising and the like. Uh, so once you've answered that, well you've answered that and then fill in your username, your preferred username and your password and retype the password to check you haven't done any typos and then you can optionally put in your email address in here and then you uh, create that account and it will check that you've got the sum right. Uh, if you didn't get it right or you didn't fill this in it will just come back to this screen and you've got to fill it out again. So I've already created an account so I'll log in. Now if you're using Internet Explorer, which I'm not at the moment, but if you're using Internet Explorer and it pops up with would you like to remember this uh, password, um, my strong advice is to not let it remember it. Uh, so you click not now. It's not so much of a problem in the browser I'm using, which is Firefox, but probably good practice, especially on public computers, not to let, account, not, not, not to let your password be remembered. Okay, now once you've logged in, it will tell you you are now logged in and ask you if you want to go back to the page from which you came. But importantly, what happens up here is the details of your account are shortcutted up here. So it has your account name, your talk page, which is the way you communicate with um, other people in Wikiversity, uh, your preferences page, your watch list, which is the wiki pages that your Wikiversity pages that you're watching for edits, and your contributions, a list of all your contributions. So if you're wanting to update your profile page, you click your name and it will take you to the page which is about you. And this is like any other page in Wikiversity. It has the user, the, the page, the discussion, uh, edit and the history and, and, and I'm not too sure what the, oh well I know what Unwatch is but it's because I'm watching this page in case anyone else edits it. Uh, and the move page, I'm not too sure, I haven't looked at that much. But anyway, like any other page, if you're wanting to edit it, uh, you click edit. I've done a fair bit of work on my profile page, but it, in honesty it was just a simple copy and paste from another place where I keep a CV. So when you've clicked edit, you get these bars, bold, italic, uh, internal link, that's linking internally to Wikiversity, external link, and these other type things, and your signature and things like that. Uh, I don't use those too much because I um, want to learn how to type into Wikitext, so just looking at that, that's just general text typed in. These double square brackets are linking to an internal page called Networked Learning. And then uh, I'm notice when I put my email address, I'm putting it here, Lee Blackall, at, in capital letters, instead of the at symbol, gmail, dot, in capital letters, uh, com, instead of putting the actual period dot. Uh, and that's because um, some robotic uh, software out there can, can scan websites looking for email addresses and then send you advertising. So it's another good practice to avoid that sort of thing to um, supplement your, your at symbol with actually typing capital letter at and your dot symbol with a dot. Um, now for making a key title uh, which will be indexed in the contents box you put equal signs either side of the word that you want to make the title so if I just go back to the user page I'll show you what that looks like so note that uh, one single equal sign either side of the word go back to the user page has created this link which then links down to down in the page this section and this section can be edited by itself 
So it's quite a useful thing for using that single equal sign. If you were to put double equal sign either side of the word, it would make a subcategory under this first section. So it would be section 1.1 and it would be a subsection under that. Quite a useful feature in, about Wikimedia and Wikiversities. So uh, I hope you go about um, put some detail about yourself, where you come from, who, um, what sort of work you do and your interests and stuff like that. And look forward to seeing your profile.